What is up, family? You're back with another episode of The Report, Tarot and Tools with your girl, Jen Ether. Let's get straight into it. We're going to do a Divine Masculine check-in. We'll see what's up with him and the Carmen. What's going on with the Divine Masculine and the Carmen? These three cards. Mm. First card that came out is the Chariot, Mabel Freepool. The Chariot card came out. So it looks like they, they're moving. Where are they moving? What's going on with this Chariot? Excuse me, guys. Clarify the chariot, please. Woo. All right, so we got this that came out in reverse. Seven of Cups. And the Seven of Cups in upright is a lot of options and also can cause confusion. So it looks like... Uh, looks like they're coming out of confusion about this uh, karmic situation and almost realizing that, look, the lovers in reverse, that they're not a uh, match made in heaven as they once felt they were. Both of these individuals, the karmic and the divine masculine, are in hermit mode, reflecting, and this situation has kind of caused them to humble themselves, which we know is not uh, common. Give me more, please. Let me make this short. So someone is watching you, I believe both. Who's watching divine feminine? Who is watching divine feminine? Who is watching the Divine Feminine? I'm trying to see if I can plug this up somewhere. Yep, I'm about to switch positions, y'all. Give me a second, I don't want it to down, guys. If we can do this, it's gonna be leaning now because I got on the charger, so I don't know if this is gonna work. Nope. Frigate. We'll just do as much as we can. Hopefully, it doesn't cut off. Okay, who's watching Divine Feminine? That's what we want to know. Sorry, guys. I just did a long personal reading and ran my battery down. Also, hit me up for personal readings. My information will be in the description box. Just one email away. Yeah, so it looks like the Divine Masculine has been watching you. He's ready to drop his burdens. He hasn't quite dropped them yet. As you see, they're still in his hand. But he has picked out his... Uh, his counterpart, he has his one. He's walking away from this karmic situation, taking whatever he brought with it, or basically taking away whatever he can, and he's being divinely guided to walk away with the dumb beetle leading him. That's divine guidance leading him out of that situation and calling him into more of an energetic balance where the divine masculine is beginning to balance out his energies of his feminine and masculine energies so he can prepare himself to come into union with his divine feminine and have his true ten of cups. So what else is going on with the divine masculine? Okay, Divine Masculine, clear your space. Get rid of clutter. Clear the energy around you and use feng shui. So I'm feeling like this uh, Divine Masculine, for some of you guys, the Divine Masculine and Karmic live together. He could have kicked the Karmic out or he could have, if he lived with the Karmic, Divine Masculine could be a woman too. Uh, could have moved away or moved out of the Karmic space. They separated and now they're basically cleaning out the space, getting rid of the karmic's old stuff, telling them to come pick the stuff up, whatever left behind, getting it out of the house. Uh, what you know, oh, you know what to do. Okay, so the divine masculine right now knows what to do and is trusting his inner knowledge and is acting upon it without delay. So he's acting upon it. He knows what to do. He's not playing games right now. He's ready to move into this next cycle and is pretty much tired of dealing with the karmic. What's the karmic's energy like? A lot of stuff came out. What's the karmic's energy like?
spread your wings. Do not hold back right now. The timing is perfect. You are ready to soar. So it looks like the karmic is also ready to soar and pretty much let this go. Give me more for what the karmic's energy is like. Creative writing. Make time to write down your thoughts in a journal or pen in an article. Or, I mean, or pen an article or books. So the uh, karmic is in the middle of writing things down. Her thoughts, creative writing. Could be a poet. Could write books. Could sing songs. Could write music. Give me more for the karmic. Nurture. As you nurture a child, you nurture your own inner child. Both activities are important right now. So the karmic is definitely needing to nurture their inner child right now. They can do this through nurturing uh, their own children if they have some or if they have nieces, nephews, anything like that. Give me more for the masculine. What's the masculine? How's the masculine? What's the masculine going through? Okay, the masculine healthy lifestyle. Eat a healthful diet, get adequate sleep, exercise regularly for optimal health. So it looks like the masculine is really uh, switching up their lifestyle. Like when we talk about toxicity, yeah, the karmic cycle was toxic, but a lot of times what can keep you in toxic cycles is just your lifestyle period. If you're in a toxic cycle with a toxic person, you're probably not living at your most optimized health. You feel me? Because you're being so drained. A lot of times it takes energy to even put energy into living a healthy lifestyle. So the Divine Masculine is really taking control of their lifestyle and beginning to eat healthier, exercise, get the proper sleep. This is all in, pre in preparation of their next cycle. Not only with you, Divine Feminine, but just them preparing to be a better person and what they want their next decade, two decades to look like. And they definitely want to be in good health. All is well. Everything is happening exactly as it is supposed to. With hidden blessings, you will soon understand. So the Divine Masculine is now starting to understand that everything is actually happening. And everything always in life, always will, always will forever and ever happen the way it's supposed to happen. And he's realizing that there are going to be, or that this whole situation was a hidden blessing in disguise. He just fought it for so long. He made it a curse. And now he's realizing, like, damn, I was fighting off a blessing. Comfort. I am with you in your time of need, helping your heart to heal. So I believe this is a message, or this is what the Divine Masculine is beginning to understand about his divine creator, that he's always had divine guidance around him, helping him to heal. So let's get one or two more messages. What's the karmic feel about Divine Feminine? Woo. Karmic realizes who you are, Divine Feminine. They know you're the counterpart that Divine Masculine is coming to. How else does the Karmic feel about Divine Feminine? Then we'll end the reading. Coming towards you. He knows the Divine Masculine is moving towards you. Passionately. Yeah, the karmic is, knows that the divine masculine is coming in to uh, celebrate with you and have a new beginning. And he's tr the karmic is trying to talk the divine masculine off of this ledge from coming. How's, how's the divine masculine responding to the karmic when the karmic tries to stop him? This is way too many. How is Divine Masculine responding to the karmic when the karmic tries to stop him from leaving? Mm. Divine Masculine responds by holding on to their money. Holding on to their own thoughts. So I don't think they really say much. I think they listen when the karmic tries to speak through peace. This person looks closed-lipped and ain't saying shit. So it's like they listen, but they already know where they're headed. They can't be convinced otherwise. They've already went through this hermit. So the Divine Masculine has made up their decision. The karmic does want to stop them, but what else is the Divine Masculine saying when the karmic tries to stop them?
look, spiritual guidance. Still a very close lip looking person. So the Divine Masculine has made up their mind during this King of Cups energy. So they're emotionally grounded. They wear their heart on their sleeve only for you, not for the divine. I'm mean, not for the karmic. With the karmic, the divine masculine is being very dry, very emotionless. They they're not showing the love that they used to show to this karmic, and the karmic can feel it. That's how they know. I don't think that the divine masculine has really said, "I'm done with you." I think energetically, they can both feel a huge difference in the energy pool between them, which uh, has alerted the karmic that the Divine Masculine is indeed on their way to you, Divine Feminine. So I hope this reading was helpful. I'm going to try to keep them short and sweet like this so I can get them done and get them out there. I do appreciate you for watching another episode of uh, Tarot and Tools with your girl, Jen Ether. If you would like to get a personal reading from me, my email will be in the description box. Just check me out. I'll be adding more fun stuff to the uh, channel. Probably pop up with a Patreon, something. I don't know. I know I'm always in and out, out and in. But I do appreciate the love as always. I appreciate y'all. I'm out. Peace.